Hi everyone, this is Accelerando Piano and I'm Jane Trotter. Today we're going to be looking at subdividing a beat. And you're thinking, oh, what does that mean? Well, imagine a crotchet beat, a one beat note. And if we cut it in half, we get two quavers. If we divide it into three, we get a triplet. If we divide it into four, we get four semiquavers. If we divide it into five, we get a quintuplet, and so on and so on. So what we're going to do is look at um, an easy way to uh, divide our beats and make sure we get them even um, and rhythmic within that. Because it's very easy to understand it mathematically. We think, right, okay, we've got a one beat note, split it in half, we've got two quavers. Easy, what's the problem? But it's another thing to actually get it, yeah, really even and in time. So, um, how do we do that? First of all, actually, let me give you an example of what we don't want to do with quavers, for example. So if I play my beat here, and we get our quavers with my right hand. So you can hear they're nice and even. A lot of the time, you'll hear something like this, one and, two and, or one and two and, and it'll be quite uneven. Likewise with triplets, which can be even trickier. So if I get my beat going, and I'm going to divide it into three, and we don't want to do Again, sounds a bit like Morse code. <laughs> so what we want to do is work out a way to get them really nice and steady. Um, actually, another thought, it's even trickier when you're going from, say, quavers into triplets, or from triplets into semi-quavers, for example. So you might have something like this, get the beat going, and say I've got quavers, and then I want to go to triplets. And then I might do triplets again, semi-quavers. So something like that is what I'm talking about. And what's a really good way and a useful tip to make that process a little bit easier? Well, it's words. Words are fantastic. Words are great. We're going to put words to those rhythms. And what I've worked out is this. Ta-da! This is my menagerie, if you like, of rhythms. So you can see for beat one, hey, I have mouse. Beat two, two syllable word, monkey. For beat three, three syllable word, elephant. For beat four, these are my Semi quavers. This is my alligator. And for the next bar, I've got a quintuplet. And this is a hippopotamus. So a five syllable word. So, how can we make up some exercises with those? First off, you could try just clapping the beat and saying the words. So, let's go. Mouse, monkey, elephant. So there I was actually clapping the syllables as well. So if I just clap my beat, and now I'll say the words. So I'll go mouse, monkey, elephant, alligator, hippopotamus, like that. Then, if you didn't want to clap, you could try it with a metronome. I've got my old metronome over here. This, this puppy is about 40 years old. I've had it for decades and it's still going strong. So here we go. Right. So I'm going to go mouse, monkey, elephant, alligator, hippopotamus. And you can try it backwards. So hippopotamus, alligator, elephant, monkey, mouse. So you can do that. Then, why not do what I was doing before and have one hand playing your pulse, playing your beat, 
and having your other hand doing the subdivisions. So let's try it with, oh, I'm going to go for some different notes. Let's go for F in the left and A in the right. My left hand is going to be my pulse. And here we go. Mouse, monkey, elephant, alligator, hippopotamus. And let's try it backwards because it's fun. Beat going. And here we go. Hippopotamus, alligator, elephant, monkey, mouse. So you can do something like that. Then, if you wanted a bit more of a challenge, you could mix it all up. So, I could decide to do, let's break this up. Um, okay, I'm going to go one, three, five, two, and four. Now, I had to write it down because I'm bound to forget. So, that's going to be a mouse an elephant, a hippopotamus, a monkey, and then an alligator. So here we go. I'm going to do my pulse with my left hand. All right. Mouse, elephant, hippopotamus, monkey, alligator. And then you can try it going backwards. So one, two, I'm going to start with my alligator. Alligator, monkey, hippopotamus, elephant, mouse. All right. My little students really like this. It's a fun exercise and they like the animals lots. But you don't have to use animals. Whatever works for you. Two, three, four, five syllable words. You got it. Um, one other thing you can try. I was doing my pulse with my left hand. Why not swap it over? So you can do the pulse with your right hand. Let's change some notes. Let's do a D sharp and a uh, F sharp and a D. Here we go. So my pulse is my right hand. Here we go. Mouse, monkey, elephant, alligator, hippopotamus. So you can do all sorts of things like that. So it's a really good way and a fun way of just practicing going back and forwards between those different rhythmic values. Um, it might do your head in to start with, but try and keep it really even, those subdivisions very even, and keep your pulse super steady. So if it's tricky doing that, you can set the metronome going, or um, perhaps even as you're walking around, you know, as you're pacing, you can keep that steady walking tread and say the words as you go. So all sorts of possibilities there. They're really fun. It's a fun way of doing it. So enjoy.